Jesus said, here I stand, won't you please let me in? And he said, I will tomorrow. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Jazz. Jazz. The Piano Tutorial Man. All right, y'all. So we got a classic here. Come on, y'all. Tomorrow by the Winans. Not an extremely hard song to play, but we do got different sections we got to go over. Before I start the tutorial, let me just say that starting from this tutorial forward, I have a new process for those that like to purchase the chord sheets to my video. Keep in mind, this is not sheet music. It's just a chord chart. I call it my chord sheet. If you want to purchase it, there will be a link in the in the description box of this video. You please don't send anything to PayPal. You you'll clip uh click a link snip feed. It'll be in the description. It's a website and you can purchase it straight off the website, okay? It's real simple. All right, that's for those that would like to get a chord chart of this song. Now, tutorial. Let's start with the intro. The intro sounds like this. Jesus said, okay, all right, cool. So let's break that intro down. It's not as hard as you think. It looks like it's a lot going on. Let's look at the right hand first. With your right hand, you want to do B, E, F sharp, and B. Now, here's the beauty of these four notes right over here. You're just going to play them over and over again for most of the intro, for most of the intro, okay? You're just going to go one, one. One, you're just going to play that. That's 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 the first part of half of the intro. What you're doing with your left hand is you're going to start with an E. So what you're going to do is you're going to play the E first. Then you're going to go to G sharp. Then you're going to go to A natural. OK, so that's the first little section right there. So let's take a look at that again. So you'll go. Okay, now you're going to switch and play this chord. This is, I call this an A over B chord. On the screen, I know it says B9 sus4, but basically I'm playing an inverted A major chord with my right hand while I'm playing B on the left hand. But anyway, B on the left hand, C sharp, E, and A. Okay, so again, uh, that part, that first half of the intro is... Now you're going to go back to those same those no notes again on the right hand B E F sharp and B but now your left hand is going to go up to C sharp and I like to play the octave when I get to this C sharp C sharp octave Right now after that you're going to drop to a G sharp octave you're going to hit that first and then your right hand will go like that okay so let's take a look at what the right hand is doing again you're just hitting g sharp on the left hand and then your right hand is going to hit this is a b and f sharp then you want to go to g sharp and d sharp and then you're going to hit uh d sharp and b okay so you're going to go so keep that left hand down when you hit it just and let it sustain as your right hand is doing that movement go and then after that you want to have this chord progression okay let's take a look at that progression that is a f sharp minor seven f sharp on the left hand f sharp a c sharp e on the right hand 
Your next chord is G sharp minor seven, G sharp on the left hand, F sharp, B, and D sharp. A major seven, A on the left hand, G sharp, C sharp, E on the right hand. And this is a F sharp minor seven over B, pretty similar to the A over B, I'm just adding the F sharp. But anyway, we have B on the left hand, F sharp, A, C sharp over E. And if you want, after you play this chord, you can play the same chord, an octave high, the same notes, an octave high and go something like that. But anyway, let's put it all together slowly. So this is the entire intro slowly. Here we go. Jesus said, okay, so if you need help, just, you know, you can always stop and rewind the video and go over it again, but that's your intro, okay, so once you, <clears throat> excuse me, have that intro locked down, let's jump into the verse, so your verse is going to be, you want to start with an E major chord, E on the left hand, G sharp, B, E on the right hand, Jesus said, now what you're going to do is take your right hand and play an A major chord, but you're going to keep your left hand down on E, okay? So it's an A over E chord. A, C sharp, and E on your right hand. Won't you please? Now all you're doing for the third chord is you're going to move this C sharp and you're just going to move it down to C. That's it. Keep the A and E. Move the C sharp. So with the, that's basically going to give you an A minor. Actually, let me uh, change that because I do want you to move two things. So once you go from the A over E chord, I want you to go to an E major seven. I just decided I want y'all to do this instead. So you're going to still have E on the left hand and on your right hand, you're going to have G sharp, B and D sharp so that there's no confusion. This is what I what I want you to do right now. Jesus said, here I stand. Won't you please take my hand? That's the E major seven, okay? And you said, now that chord right there is just an A major chord. A on the left hand, A, C sharp, E on the right hand. And you said, I will. So this is a B7, B dominant seven chord. B on the left hand, A, B, D sharp, F sharp on the right hand. And you said, then take your left hand, just drop it down to A like that, and like that. That's it, just like that. And then you want to go to an E over G sharp. G sharp on the left hand, G sharp, B, E on the right hand. And then you want to hit. Uh, F sharp minor seven, so that's F sharp on the left hand. F sharp, A, C sharp, E on the right hand. And then you're going to hit the B7 real quick and go. Okay, now the B7 chord, I'm, I'm, I'm going to play it in rhythm so you can know how it goes. But I want to make sure that I spell out each chord that you have to play first. So you want to do the B7 again, B on the left hand. A, B, D sharp. F sharp on the right hand, and then you want to come to the E chord again, the E major chord. E on the left hand, G sharp, B, and E on the right hand. So this is how you put all those chords together, and this is how you want to play it. Jesus said, here I stand. Won't you please let me in? And you said, I will tomorrow. Yeah, I knew I was going to mess up um, tomorrow. Okay. 
Let me do that again because I totally screwed that up. Now I don't want to no, confuse you. Jesus said, <laughs> Here I stand. Won't you please let me in? And you said, I will tomorrow. Right? And then. And then you could do the F sharp minor seven over B if you like as a passing chord. B on the left hand, F sharp, A, C sharp, E. I'm going to play it one more time just to be on the safe side that I did not confuse anyone. So the same set of chords again. Jesus said, here I stand. Won't you please let me in? And you said... I will tomorrow. Jesus said, and then you're going to go right back to the E major chord again. I am he. Then you're going to do A over E, A major over E again. All these are the same chords. Who supplies E major seven. Who supplies all your needs. So, um, again, so E major, A over E, then you're going to do A minor over E, A, C, E to E major seven. Okay. E on the left hand, G sharp, B and D sharp. Okay, so the second half, Jesus said, I am he who supplies all your needs. And you said, then go to the A major chord again. A major again. I will be seven. Drop your left hand to A. And then you're going to go to the E over G sharp tomorrow. G sharp on the left hand. G sharp. B, E on the right hand. And now this time, instead of doing that, that little, you go, you're not, you're going to do that. You're just going to go to an E major chord, to an A major chord. That's going to be your transition to the chorus. E on the left hand, G sharp, B, E on the right hand, and then A major, A on the left hand. A, C sharp, and E. So it's going to be, and you, and you said, tomorrow, to, tomorrow. Then you're going to go to that change. But I think it would be better if I just play the whole verse so I'm not confusing you. So this is the second half of the verse. Jesus said, I am he who supplies all your needs and you said i know but tomorrow who tomorrow okay so that that's when you don't do the little fancy thing you just play the e over uh, e chord to the a chord okay and then you got the chorus tomorrow who promised you tomorrow? Who thought about today? But it's so much easier to say. Are right, y'all ready to break this down? Okay, here we go. The chorus. So you want to go to an E major chord. So tomorrow. Now I'm doing a different inversion with the E chord from what I did before. Uh, e on the left hand, and this time I'm doing B, E, G sharp on the right hand. Tomorrow. Now hit the chord again. And then we want to do that. So we're going to hit the E chord again. Now this is a D sharp minor 7. D sharp on the left hand. A sharp, C sharp, F sharp on the right hand. Down to a C sharp minor 7. C sharp on the left hand, G sharp, B, and E. So, so far, tomorrow, who promised, 
right? You got that? One more time. Tomorrow, now give my life. Then you want to go to tomorrow, or oh, to a B7 chord. Tomorrow, B on the left hand, A, B, D sharp, F sharp on the right hand. Take your left hand, drop it down to A like we did before. You know what I'm saying? You know. Then you want to go to a G sharp minor seven. G sharp on the left hand. Uh, G sharp, B natural, D sharp, and F sharp on the right hand. To a C sharp minor seven. Okay. C sharp on the left hand, G sharp, B, E on the right hand. Then you're going to do a F sharp nine. So that's going to be F sharp on the left hand. Then you're going to have G sharp, A sharp, C sharp, yeah, C sharp, and an E natural. And then your next chord is going to be a B nine. And then we're going to stop here and put those chords together. But the B9 is a B on the left hand, A, C sharp, D sharp, and F sharp on the right hand. So let's go back to the first half of the chords. Let's put that together. So you're going to have tomorrow, give my life tomorrow. I thought about today. But it's so much easier to say. Okay, got that. And then you're going to play those. You're going to start with the same chords again. Tomorrow, you got the E major chord. And then you're going to walk down to C sharp minor 7. Give this to tomorrow. To the B7 chord. To the B7 chord. Then take your left hand, drop down to A. Now this is going to be different. On the screen it says G sharp minor 7 sharp 11. But on the chord sheet I like to write my sharp 11 chords as minor. Or should I say flat 5. It's the same thing. A flat 5 and a sharp 11 is always the exact same note within the scale. Alright so I'm calling on. If you see this on the chord sheet it will be written G sharp minor 7 flat 5 but anyway the notes are G sharp on the left hand G sharp B natural D and F sharp on the right hand and then your next chord is going to be a C sharp 7 flat 9 so you're going to have C sharp on the left hand G sharp B D and F on the right hand and then you're going to go to a F sharp minor 7. Okay. F sharp on the left hand. F sharp, A, C sharp, E on the right hand. Take your left hand and put it over B. So now you got, you still have that F sharp minor 7, but you got a B in the bass. Then you're going to play a, a B9 chord, which is a B dominant 9. B on the left hand, A, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp on the right hand. And then um, for the first time, the first time you when you end the first chorus, you're just going to play the intro. You're going to go right back into the, the first half of the intro. You're going to go right into, you just want to play that again. Exactly the same we taught it. And then you'll go, um, sorry about that. So it's going to be. And then you're just going to go right into the second verse. Okay. No need to break down what I just did because it's the exact same thing we did at the intro of the song. At the beginning of the song, you're only going to play just those first, that first half of the intro. You're not going to play the entire intro again. Okay. So again, um, when you're coming out of the verse, uh, the chorus, I should say, when you're coming out of the chorus the first time, doesn't know, doesn't 
da, 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 da. Then you got the Jesus said And then they do the second verse The beauty of the second verse is you can play the second verse Exactly how you played the first verse So there's no need <laughs> To go into how to play it Because you can just play it exactly the same way you played the first verse So now when you after they do the uh the second verse and then they sing the chorus the second time they go into a um into the bridge okay it's like a little bridge or a change in the song now let me just speak on this when you're coming out of the when you're doing the chorus the second time and you come out of it you will not return to this part again you won't you won't return back to that so when you're coming out of the chorus the second time oh that was the wrong chord you just go straight to an e chord yeah that's it you're just gonna go straight to the e chord where on the first time you did the chorus we did this I'm sorry. You know, we went right to that. But again, when after when they do the second verse, you're not going to play that. You're just going to come out of it like. Right. Whatever the words are. Just go straight to an E chord, right? All right. And who says tomorrow will ever come for you? So let's take a look at that. So the bridge, you're going to switch to a A minus 7. A on the left hand. G, A, C, E on the right hand. To a D9 chord. D dominant 9. D on the left hand. F sharp. A, C, and E on the right hand to G major 9, G on the left hand, A, B, D, F sharp on the top, all right, on the right hand. And then you're going to play the A minor 7 again, A minor 7 again, the D9 again. And then this is the chord that you're gonna uh, that's different. You're gonna go to. So this is a F9 uh, sharp 11. So what I'm doing on this chord is a F and E flat on the left hand. But you can also just do double F. But for this particular chord, I like doing F and E flat. So you know, but that's if you want to just do octaves with the F, that's fine. But anyway, F E flat. Then on the right hand, you have A, B, D sharp, and G. Okay? To say... You know, you know and all that stuff. So that's the whole... That's the bridge right there. Uh, what, what is it? And who says tomorrow will ever come? For you, still you laugh and play and continue on. And then you got the chord where you're gonna go to say. Okay. And then you're gonna end like the, the third, the last time you do the chorus, it's like you're ending the song. Tomorrow. Okay, that part right there. Now, what you may, when you're listening to the song, this is this is one of those key changes that I can honestly say, if I'm not paying attention to, I didn't even realize it changed keys. But we're actually switching key. It's like we're going to return to the E major 
on the last chord. But when we come to the third chorus, instead of playing the, you know, what we what we were playing before, we want to actually play a G major seven chord, okay? G on the left hand, G, B, D, F sharp. Tomorrow, I miss you. So that progression, you want to play the G major seven again to an F sharp minor seven, F sharp on the left hand, F sharp A, C sharp E on the right hand to an E minor seven, E on the left hand, G, A, B, and D on the right hand. So, so far, tomorrow, ba -da -da -da, tomorrow. So now you're going to go to a D chord. Um, D on the left hand, F sharp, A, D on the right hand. Or better yet, let's do the D major chord this way. Let's do the D major chord. You can play it the way I just showed you is 100% right. But uh, for what the next chord is, I like to play it in this inversion. A, D, and F sharp. I prefer to play it like that. And then you take your left hand and drop it down to C. And technically, this is a D7 over C chord. So it will be like that. Okay, so, so far, tomorrow, tomorrow, da, da, da. now go to a B minor 7, B on the left hand, A, B, D, F sharp on the right hand, oh, please, E minor 7, so you got E on the left hand, E, G, B, D on the right hand. Don't just turn and walk. This is an A7 chord. A on the left hand. G, C sharp, E. Sometimes I like to play this B, which makes it an A9. You still get the same thing, so if you want to put that in there, that's fine. And then the next chord will be your D9. D as in door. D on the left hand. F sharp, A, C, E on the right hand. So, so far, tomorrow, who promised you tomorrow? Sorry about that. Oh, need to do that again. Tomorrow, da, 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 da. Da, 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 dee, da, dee. Oh, please don't just turn and walk away. Okay, and then the rest of the song is pretty much the same chords almost. So you're going to return to the G major seven when all of the whiners are singing in harmony tomorrow. G major seven, G on the left hand. G, B, D, F sharp on the right hand. Tomorrow. Then hit that chord again and do your progression. Okay, and that progression, once you hit the G major 7, it's going to be F sharp minor 7 to E minor 7. Okay, I spelled those earlier, so. Right? And then you're going to go to a D major chord. All right? D on the left hand, A, D, F sharp on the right hand. Take your left hand, drop it down to C, and keep your right hand. So technically, it's a D over C chord. And then now we're going to hit a B minor 7. I like to call this flat 5, but sharp 11, if you want to think of it that way. It's the same note. And then you're going to go to... All right, so the B minor seven flat five is B on the left hand. A, B, D, F on the right hand. And then the E seven chord with the flat nine will be E on the left hand. G sharp, B, D, and F. 
Cause tomorrow Then you're gonna go to A minor 7 A on the left hand G, A, C, E on the right hand Could very well D9 D on the left hand D, A, C, E on the right hand And then your last chord will be an E chord. Now you can make it E major 9, E major 7, or just a regular E chord. That's up to you. But the regular E chord is E on the left hand, G sharp, B, and E on the right hand. And ladies and gentlemen, that's how you play the song. So tomorrow... Tomorrow is not promised Don't let this moment slip away For your tomorrow Could very well begin Today And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen Tomorrow by the winings hopefully that helped you out and again if you're interested in purchasing the chord sheet just check the description box of this video i will catch y'all on the next one peace